Ho ho, me hearties, a very, very good evening to you. It's just me, Scotty McClue, Saturday night. Nothing gets past me, nine o'clock. As I say, nothing gets past me. And, of course, it's the 19th of March, 2022, and the start of the Internet phone-in. One hour of superb scintillating information, education, and entertainment for not just one nation, but for all nations across the globe. Lots and lots to talk about tonight. So little time to do it in, so get to your telephones as soon as possible, and let's hear from you. We're just letting everybody know that we are live. This is Big Style. And, of course, you can tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 at any time that you're watching Scotty McClure live, either on YouTube, on LinkedIn, on Facebook Live, or, of course, on the wonderful TikTok. There we are. Good evening, Scotty. Thank you, Scotty, says Leggett. Hello, Leggett. Welcome, 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 I say to you. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. And uh, of course, uh, my brother, yes, indeed, Andrew Pixel, dinky do. How are you doing, Scotty? Fantastic, real Justin. Just great to have you with us, and dinky do. You're a legend, Leggett. So are you. It's interesting. You know, a legend used to be somebody that could pull a sword out of a stone. Now you're a legend if you turn up with extra jumbo packets of crisps and pizza. Hello from Glasgow in Paisley. No, 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 no. Paisley is nothing to do with Glasgow. You need to understand that you're in Paisley, which is part of Renfrew Shire. Yes, wonderful. Great old stuff. There we go. Renfrew, I think, is a royal borough, isn't it? But somebody corrected me one night and said Paisley's not a royal borough. I was rather surprised at that. Uh, breaking news, Scotty, Numpty Head's no been in the pash. Excellent, Numpty Head. That is breaking news. Hello, buddy. Uh, Martin and Emma Lala. There we are. I thought you were talking French to be going, ah, la. There we are. Scotty, the legend. Dinky do. Fantastic stuff. How do you pronounce Worcestershire? I think just Worcestershire. Hi, Scotty. What does dinky do mean? Is that a Scottish thing? No, no, James. Dinky do is Scotty McClue's catchphrase, world wide. And it means it's all well with you and the world. Are you dinky do? There we are. Oh, we're dinky do. Absolutely. Hello, says VJ. Dinky do. Hello, Scotty. One and all. Karim. How lovely to have you with us. Let's open the phone lines and see if we can get everybody coming on for a wee chit chat. That would be rather nice, wouldn't it? Fantastic stuff. Uh, follow us as soon as you can. Scotty Legend, Dinky Doo. Hey, Sailor, Dinky Doo. Hello, you're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Dinky Doo, it's Kareem. Ah, oh, Kareem, Dinky Doo. How lovely to have you with us, Dinky Doo. Don't Dinky do, don't do, don't is a sailor. All right. And there's okay. somebody asking, large, large underscore fellow says, where were you born? Well, I wasn't born, large underscore fellow. I was knitted by my grandmother, and we think she dropped a couple of stitches. Now then, Kareem, how are we tonight, sir? Not too bad. Absolutely beautiful day today. Oh, Kareem, was it not just stunningly outstanding? Absolutely, Scott. It Stun was stunning. And gorgeous. did that not make you feel better, even with everything you've been through? Correct, yes, it was lovely, and, and hopefully the same tomorrow. I think it is to be, and I'll take the dogs a good walk. Fantastic. Um, I just hope everybody's well and safe, who's listening, Martin and Susan and Suzanne and everybody, yes. up to you, and enjoying their Saturday night. Yes, absolutely, and we've got, hiya, Scotty, how do we ring in for a chinwag rogo? You will see it across the bottom of the YouTube channel. Hey, Scotty, long time no speak, love, Sharon and Billy. Good evening, Scotty, from yeah. Colin. And did the McClure enthusiast who called in to mention tomorrow is the first day of the rest of your life? Absolutely, yes. VJ, that's a big McClueism, that tomorrow yes. is the first day of the rest of your life. I'm getting here, Wick is a royal borough. Uh, you have been about, Scotty, are you watching the rugby? No, I had to, I had to stop watching the rugby because it was upsetting me. Ireland were thrashing Scotland too much. Oh, dear. Not good. Not good. I went on a lovely drive last night, uh, late last night, Scotty, and I went down to Guruk. Ah. 
And to my old stamping ground. Yes, the sea at night time, the clear sky, and just looking at all the... When, when you're passing, uh, what you call it, Port Glasgow, and then yes. into Greenock, yes. and then you can see the, just up in the hill with all the lights and the flats. It was just... it was. It was, and then the water, it was just so different from obviously what you see in the inner city or suburbs. Or well, it's called. very, very beautiful. I mean, I was brought up there, you know what I mean? And then I started moving around the UK. Yes. Um, yes. But um, I, I really, really miss it. And I love the people, of course. And, you know, you can't, you can't, you can take the boy out of Greenock, but you won't take Greenock out of the boy. No, no, not at all. <laughs> and, and it's so lovely. I walk along the Esplanade, Karim, or up the yes. Lyle Hill, and you'll see a yes. very, very famous view. Famous view. Now, during World War II, that was absolutely packed with shipping. Oh, right. You see, okay. what people don't right. realise, Karim, is Glasgow was stowed out with ships. There were busy, uh -huh. busy tugs all the time. And the sides of the bank, a lot of it's been filled in now. But you'd all uh, these docks, the George the Fifth dock and the Brumer Law and, and all that uh, stuff. And right into the city, you could get steamships. Right. So you right. would just walk along from the central station to uh, either the Brumer Law or Bridge Wharf. The Brumer Law was on the same side as the central station. Bridge Wharf was across the bridge. And you could right. just get a steamer for Guruk, Rothsey, Tinnabruer, Hinellen, Ardrishig, Danun, you know, all that. Yes. I yes. gave you all that in the wrong order. It actually went Guruk, Danun, Hinellen, Rothsey, Tinnabruer, Tarbot, Ardrishig. <laughs> all right. Uh, well, it was in... When you look at, when is it, Port Glasgow, when you're talking about all the ports, when yes. you've got the sports centre down there, football complex, or yes. to the left of it, not to be mistaken with Motherwell, but Ravens Craig Park down yes. at the water. Yes, absolutely. Um, and and the, the port there, and you can see all the, the wood that's still been left over, and it's just, it's, it's, a, it's a, a bit of history, it's a shame that it's got to that. Well, that was that was known as um, Coronation Park in at right. Port Glasgow itself, just opposite the old town hall, that looks like a big right. church. Uh -huh. Right, right. You know, um, and then you had where the shopping centre is now, that was the shipyards. Yes. Right, and as okay. you drove along, you had Scots, and then you had Lithgows. And they, of course, uh -huh. amalgamated into Scott Lithgow. Okay. And then I think became part of British shipbuilders latterly. Yeah, yeah. Well, I have always said to you, Scotty, that I just think, um, and it comes back to what we usually talk about every once in a while about independence. Yes. That we have the infrastructure, we have the foundations, we just need the finance. And well, I was listening goes. to the Conservatives going, now is not the time. Now, my answer yes. to that would be, now is always the time. Any time is a good time for independence for Scotland. Correct. Yes. You know, any I, time uh, at all, you see what I mean? We could have said that about Brexit. Brexit's not, this is not the time. Yes, to, you should have, uh, we should have all said to Boris, look, it's not the time. It's not the time to be leaving Europe, you know? Now, I, I've said this to you before, and the people on, on social media, and I always get my hand bitten off for this, but if somebody tried to lecture me, because I've, I've said to you before that Scotland's not voted Conservative since 1955. That's right. And I said, no, you haven't directly voted Conservative yep. or Tory. But in 2014, you voted to be you voted to be part of a Tory Britain. Sixty. Tory that was that sixty-seven years. Am, uh, I, am yes. I right? Around about that sort of yes. Yeah. Yes. So 60, 67 yeah. years since Scotland last wanted a Tory government, and it's kind of had one virtually ever since, with a couple of exceptions, two or three exceptions. Well. As I've always said, and people keep coming back dismissing me, I've said in 2014, you have voted to be part of a Tory Britain. So you might not directly vote Conservative, but you voted to be part of a Tory Britain.